Today is May 29th. Does wisdom work? Let's find out together as we read Ecclesiastes 7 to 9. After Solomon explains to us that uh, everything in life is uh, meaningless, it's vanity, it's, it's empty, he uh, comes back and he starts presenting to us more wisdom. This wisdom, though, sounds a little bit different from uh, the book of, of Proverbs. Now, what Solomon is trying to tell us here in Ecclesiastes is that even wisdom, as good as it is, even wisdom has limits. Um, look what he says, for example. This appears to be the crux of the matter. Chapter 7, verses uh, 15 to 18. I've seen everything in this meaningless life, including the death of good young people and the long life of wicked people. So don't be too good or too wise. Why destroy yourself? On the other hand, don't be too wicked either. Don't be a fool. Why die before your time? Pay attention to these instructions for anyone who fears God will avoid both extremes. Wow. Don't be too good. Don't be too wise. But don't be too wicked. That sounds so strange, doesn't it? But what Solomon is trying to get across to us is the idea that wisdom is good, but wisdom is not a cure-all. What he says in the book of Proverbs is true, but it doesn't oblige God to answer in any particular way. Solomon is, in essence, saying, Prepare for the best, be wise, do good, but prepare yourself to receive whatever life sends your way. Sometimes life sends difficult situations our way. Enjoy here today as you read Ecclesiastes 7 to 9. Ecclesiastes 7 through 9, New Living Translation. Ecclesiastes 7. A good reputation is more valuable than costly perfume, and the day you die is better than the day you were born. Better to spend your time at funerals than at parties. After all, everyone dies. So the living should take this to heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for sadness has a refining influence on us. A wise person thinks a lot about death while fools think only about having a good time. Better to be criticized by a wise person than to be praised by a fool. A fool's laughter is quickly gone, like thorns crackling in a fire. This is also meaningless. Extortion turns wise people into fools, and bribes corrupt the heart. Finishing is better than starting. Patience is better than pride. Control your temper, for anger labels you a fool. Don't long for the good old days. This is not wise. Wisdom is even better when you have money. Both are a benefit as you go through life. Wisdom and money can get you almost anything, but only wisdom can save your life. Accept the way God does things. For who can straighten what he made crooked? Enjoy prosperity while you can, but when hard times strike, realize that both come from God. Remember that nothing is certain in this life. I have seen everything in this meaningless life, including the death of good young people and the long life of wicked people. So don't be too good or too wise. Why destroy yourself? On the other hand, don't be too wicked either. Don't be a fool. Why die before your time? Pay attention to these instructions, for anyone who fears God will avoid both extremes. One wise person is stronger than ten leading citizens of a town. Not a single person on earth is always good and never sins. Don't eavesdrop on others. You may hear your servants curse you, for you know how often you yourself have cursed others. 
I have always tried my best to let wisdom guide my thoughts and actions. I am determined to be wise, but it didn't work. Wisdom is always distant and difficult to find. I searched everywhere, determined to find wisdom and to understand the reason for things. I was always determined to prove to myself that wickedness is stupid and that foolishness is madness. I discovered that a seductive woman is a trap more bitter than death. Her passion is a snare and her soft hands are chains. Those who are pleasing to God will escape her, but sinners will be caught in her snare. This is my conclusion, says the teacher. I discovered this after looking at the matters from every possible angle. Though I have searched repeatedly, I have not found what I was looking for. Only one out of a thousand men is virtuous, but not one woman. But I did find this. God created people to be virtuous, but they have each turned to follow their own downward path. Ecclesiastes 8 How wonderful to be wise! To analyze and interpret things, wisdom lights up a person's face, softening its hardness. Obey the king, since you vowed to God that you would. Don't try to avoid doing your duty, and don't stand with those who plot evil, for the king can do whatever he wants. His command is backed by great power. No one can resist or question it. Those who obey him will not be punished. Those who are wise will find a time and a way to do what is right. For there is a time and a way for everything, even when a person is in trouble. Indeed, how can people avoid what they don't know is going to happen? None of us can hold back our spirit from departing. None of us has the power to prevent the day of our death. There is no escaping that obligation, that dark battle. And in the face of death, wickedness will certainly not rescue the wicked. I have thought deeply about all that goes on here under the sun— where people have the power to hurt each other. I have seen wicked people buried with honor, yet they were the very ones who frequented the temple and were praised in the same city where they committed their crimes. This, too, is meaningless. When a crime is not punished quickly, people feel it is safe to do wrong. But even though a person sins a hundred times and still lives a long time, I know that those who fear God will be better off. The wicked will not prosper, for they do not fear God, Their days will never grow long like the evening shadows, and this is not all that is meaningless in our world. In this life, good people are often treated as though they were wicked, and wicked people are often treated as though they were good. This is so meaningless. So I recommend having fun, because there is nothing better for people in this world than to eat, drink, and enjoy life. That way they will experience some happiness along with all the hard work God gives them under the sun. In my search for wisdom and in my observation of people's burdens here on earth, I discovered that there is ceaseless activity, day and night. I realize that no one can discover everything God is doing under the sun. Not even the wisest people discover everything, no matter what they claim. Ecclesiastes 9 This too I carefully explored. Even though the actions of the godly and wise people are in God's hands, No one knows whether God will show them favor. The same destiny ultimately awaits everyone, whether righteous or wicked, good or bad, ceremonially clean or unclean, religious or irreligious. Good people receive the same treatment as sinners, and people who make promises to God are treated like people who don't. It seems so wrong that everyone under the sun suffers the same fate. Already twisted by evil, people choose their own mad course, for they have no hope. There is nothing ahead but death anyway. There is hope only for the living. As they say, it is better to be a live dog than a dead lion. The living at least know they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward, nor are they remembered. Whatever they did in their lifetime, loving, hating, envying, it is all long gone. They no longer play a part in anything here on earth. So go ahead, eat your food with joy. And drink your wine with a happy heart, for God approves of this. Wear fine clothes with a splash of cologne. Live happily with the woman you love through all the meaningless days of life that God has given you under the sun. The good wife, the wife God gives you, is your reward for all your earthly toil. Whatever you do, do well. For when you go to the grave, there will be no work or planning or knowledge or wisdom. I have observed something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race, and the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. 
The wise sometimes go hungry, and the skillful are not necessarily wealthy, and those who are educated don't always lead successful lives. This is all decided by chance, by being in the right place at the right time. People can never predict when hard times might come. Like fish in a net or birds in a trap, people are caught by sudden tragedy. Here is another bit of wisdom that has impressed me as I have watched the way our world works. There was a small town with only a few people, and a great king came with his army and besieged it. A poor, wise man knew how to save the town, and so it was rescued. But afterward, no one thought to thank him. So even though wisdom is better than strength, those who are wise will be despised if they are poor. What they say will not be appreciated for long. Better to hear the quiet words of a wise person than the shouts of a foolish king. Better to have wisdom than weapons of war. But one sinner can destroy much that is good. Scripture reading by Emily Herrera. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll find the crux of the book of Ecclesiastes.